When is the last time you considered ending this relationship and why didn't you? Um, What do you think I think is the sexiest thing about me and why? Wait. Um, <laughs> I think it's your little, like, your rings and your, your chains and stuff. Yeah. I feel like that's what, like, <laughs> and your earrings, that's what you think. Like, and your hair. Why? I, think, I don't know why it makes you, I don't know. Why does it make you feel sexy? <laughs> I don't know, it just does. <laughs> I feel sexy. Maybe it makes you feel good, it makes your hands feel bigger. Yeah. You can knock someone <laughs> out, you know, protect me. Yeah. There we go. Um, when you think about the first time we met, what do you remember feeling? Well, the first time I remember seeing you, I, my heart kind of dropped a little bit just because, like, I couldn't take my eyes off of you and then it was just like an instant feeling of, yeah, it's her. That's the one. Yeah. Is that for both of us? No. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your secret weapon for cheering me up that I'm not aware of? Being goofy, but I think <laughs> you know that already. <laughs> you know, I always like to just bring my little, like, energetic spastic yeah. jumpy side my kid's side mm. to just bring that smile out of you to just it works does it it does okay good yeah. <laughs> how have the current events of 2020 affected our relationship in ways we didn't expect Ooh. well shit um so there was this thing called um quarantine yeah that uh, I feel like everybody in the world is doing, you know, obviously. Mm -hmm. And it just did not cope well with us in some moments. We had a lot of fun in some, like most of the time, just like painting. Yeah, just figuring out random stuff and yeah. bullshit to do. But I was just around you every second of every single day for five months, you know, or like yeah. close to, you know, like. Yeah. So it's just like, it was a big it's prison switch. pretty much, you know? So there's not like, you can't, you can't, you know, that negative anger energy has to be put out somewhere. So a lot of the time it would just lash out against mm -hmm. both of us, you know? Mm -hmm. I think we also got like, it made us, it kind of like forced us to get closer. Mm -hmm. Like we kind of bonded a lot mm -hmm. faster. Yeah, I think so too. And I feel like our relationship grew a lot stronger because like yeah, I, 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 yeah, I also we felt a lot more close to each other. I would say just because of how like we were living together, you know, mm -hmm. and like that was my first time living with like another somebody like that, you know, that I'm that close with, and, like in love with. I've never been in love like this, so you know, like, and so it was just like that was the biggest test trial I think for both of us if this would really work and. Mm -hmm. This seems, is working. It seems it like it. It seemed like it will. Yeah. What is the pain in me you wish you could heal? Um. The pain of you not loving yourself fully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just. I hate seeing those days where you're just so inside your head that you can barely even like really talk to me and stuff. And I just wish I could make that side of you mm -hmm. a lot better. And I hope I'm- You have. I am <laughs> hoping a little bit, mm -hmm. but yeah. It's, it's kind of what I've been trying to mm -hmm. heal this whole time. And that's vice versa too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you see in me that I don't see in myself? All the confidence in the world. Because you accidentally are confident 
all the time. You just don't realize it until I say something or one of your best friends says something and then you like shrivel back up and get small and unconfident because you try to pull it from somewhere that you, are, that you, you don't know, you know? But it's like you're trying, but you don't need to. Just do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you describe me to others? Oh, okay. So it's kind of is. <laughs> so I finally found the person that I love. Like, it's not a joke this time, guys. Like, I know last time I said that, but like, this is the one. He's too sweet of a guy. <laughs> like, he has said so many promises to me that I know that he's gonna keep. And. You, you know how everybody says that people don't change, mm -hmm. but I know that you've changed and for the better for the both of us. And um, I just, Thank you. you just, I don't know, you're just <laughs> this amazing boy that makes me feel so happy and gives me butterflies and I can never stop smiling, my face hurts. It's just how I describe you to everybody when I went home. So. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> if I lost my memory, what would be the first thing you'd tell me about us? <laughs> um, <laughs> that I'm the best sex you've ever had and that every single intention towards you is a true and good one. And that our whole relationship has been built off of that. And Every time something has failed, that's what has brought that back and us back up onto our feet and sent us flying again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what does my love feel like? <laughs> um, I mean, it makes me feel like tingly mm -hmm. when I'm around you. Like, it's not like butterflies, it's more like <laughs> It's kind of weird to say, but like a swarm of bees is like yeah. inside of me. That's what your love feels like. It's just this excited ball of energy that I just want to <laughs> well, sure. give back to you. Yeah. Good. Last question. If this were to be our last conversation, what is something you never want me to forget? that I have only felt truly towards people twice, maybe three times in my life, and that was with my immediate family I grew up with. You know, that's just how I am. I have to fully be on the same level, and I could never be on the same level with somebody more than you. None of my time, nothing else in my life is worth doing it without you. It's like, it's not, it's not, it's not plausible for me to have a good demeanor knowing that this would be our last conversation because I wouldn't leave. <laughs> good. I'm glad. Love you, girl. I love you too. Hey guys, Melanie again. Thank you so much for watching. Currently on the set of The End. If you want to bring these conversations at home, check it out at our shop. And if you want to watch more of our videos, check it out below. Thanks.